Why don't you let me drive your uh, DT500? Oh, here, here you go, the key. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. Wow, that sounds crazy, dude. I had to do a quick little pull for him. Oh, I, I think it's a pretty dope car, man. <laughs> I think I'm gonna dope. give it 10 out of 10, bro. Ooh. Before I do my cardio, I do my work gum, baby. If y'all like this outfit, go to hypelife.com. <laughs> you gotta sing, you gotta make love to everything you do. Oh. Best sack in the world, best supplement in the world. Go to hypelife.com, get yours today if you wanna go beyond the world. You want to go to space? You want to go to the moon like the astronauts about to do? Well, you take these two and you will go there. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to get in that, that big old space shuttle that might do anything. You know, we ain't going to speak positivity. But in my day, you know, all those things that try to get to the moon, it didn't turn out right. So you know what I mean? But in order for you to go to the moon and turn out right, this sack you want, baby. Hypey mud, go wild. Great flavor, we got watermelon flavor through that watermelon. Don't be a dummy and do a whole scoop till you're ready. This is the most potent thing on the market. That go wild, almost a whole scoop of that. No caffeine in the go wild. The pump is vastly isolated. Open up your blood vessels, keep that blood flowing through there so it don't get clogged up. When your blood vessels uh, opened up and that blood pumping, oh, it goes to your brain, goes to your heart, your lungs, everything to app you up. And it brings in that crazy vascularity. Like how my calves are already. See how fast they kicked in, boy? That's light. But you want light your calves. You want to get a lot of reps. Rap, 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 rap. Rap, rap, rap. Calves, man, those are, it's funny because I didn't have calves. I was all swole. And when I trim up, I got calves as remaining assets after, you know, my little trim down. They say I'm real thin now, you know what I mean? What happened to the bustle? I'm like, bruh. I got that shredded. It's all that matter. Do your fat booty do? Do your fat self got them shredded abs? If you ain't got abs, don't leave a comment. <laughs> I'm crazy. Still at my same program, Hyphy. I do the same thing I've been doing since I've been before the internet and on the internet. Same working out, less food, and healthy food. That's the only difference. I think that's the only difference in what I do now. Lower caffeine intake too. What I learned about doing legs is you don't have to do as much weight as you think you do. But it took me about 25 years of training to learn that. It's all about focusing on the muscle, getting the pump, and the sweet spot. It's, it's a spot on everybody's body where you get the most muscle contraction and pump. Let's see what mine is, where mine is. Tight, 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 right there. That's my sweet spot. When I was an amateur, super amateur bodybuilder, <laughs> before I even started competing, I used to watch videos of bodybuilders just doing short leg press, like, what? They're not going full range of motion. Like, everybody just watching this video. You see this muscle? bodybuilder show you know little speedos legs ginormous it must be something to that <laughs> you know what I mean because all the guys that go full range of motion legs look like uh, look like stilts and that's how mine used to look once I started getting that sweet spot going 15 reps or better it got big and that that applies to everything on your body going 15 reps or better whoever do the most reps look the best because you're pumping more blood in it than everybody else. You're working a muscle more than everybody else. You put stress on the muscle more than everybody else. So we did calves, leg extensions, leg press, back to leg extensions. Because I like to use this as a leg extension as a post pump as well. 
pump the most blood I can into it. Then we go do uh, leg curls. And that's almost it for me with legs. I'm not trying to get them bigger or none of that. I need to do butt blasters. That, 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 that those glutes. When they shrink up, got that loose skin. You know what I mean? Like if y'all ever seen some old people cut your grandma or somebody, and you see that saggy booty, because the muscle is deflated. I want to keep my muscle and my glutes and everywhere kind of inflated, not overinflated, not juiced out inflated, but uh, natural as it can possibly be inflated. So my legs, they are already exhausted to the max, pumped to the max. I'm just finishing them off with a good pump. Luckily, I still do legs at home, at least once a week. Keeping them firm and fit. Uh, I learned through all my years, you don't have to kill yourself to look good and feel good and be healthy. That's a meathead misnomer. You think I'm gonna lose that? That's why I'm little 195 now, all muscle. I'm now in the fitness bodybuilding world, which I'm the GOAT, but I tell people to aspire for more. Of course you want to be healthy and shape, but it's more than life than going to the gym two, three hours a day. Worried about meal prep and all that. We got money to make. Moves above. All this real estate out here, all these businesses. Uh, <coughs> bro, it be weeks. I don't work out for a whole week. Y'all gotta open your mind. I know the gym is like, I think the gym is for lazy people. Really? They don't have, yeah, they don't have nothing else to exert their energy in. So you're like, oh, let me go to the gym, get fit and in shape, and all the other aspects of the life is taking a hell. It's more than gym, bro. Uh, me, I was just blessed with good genetics. I didn't have to kill myself and look good, and, but I always was focused on other businesses. To me, business is to be mad. You're a content creator. You need to be focusing on quality, thumbnails, titles, uh, content, because acting, a lot of y'all need to learn how to be an actor. That's the main thing. A lot of y'all, I'm not doing that. I'm a tough guy. I'm a, uh, 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 I'm here for the people to wake them up, not for comedy. Uh, that's why you, you ain't moving the needle. You're too restricted until your body isn't thinking. You, you've been brainwashed. You've been led to just be on a narrow path. You don't see outside it. Bro, I'm telling you, that's, I thank God for giving me, and I don't want to act like on the internet to the internet. I don't want to expose my knowledge. A lot of y'all exposing everything about you. Oh, how you think? I don't like this. I don't like this color person. I don't like how they talk. I don't like this and that. And oh, oh. Bro, the internet is like Hollywood. It's supposed to be for entertainment. That's why people like Tate, the Tate brothers, all that, they expose themselves to the government and to, you know, bro, come on, man. Let me give y'all an example. I was in the pen. I hate to use this scenario, but it's my life. I was in the pen. Joined the organization. They was like the head dog, the top person. Never expose yourself that you the top person. So I went through life like that. I never, I never wanted to be caught in groups. I never exposed the knowledge I know. And why are y'all exposing your knowledge to the internet? Like, bro. And then wonder why all oh, the the fans after me. The, 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 after me. Mm -hmm. People are not as bright as they act. They try to act intelligent to people on the internet, but in real life, all you're doing is exposing yourself. You enjoyed that lunch, boy? That's yeah, pretty good, man. Wow. What you want to do now? Actually, 
<laughs> Why don't you let me drive your uh, DT500? You've never let me drive it yet. You let everybody else drive it. Well, you know, I have flashbacks of the track hawk. Which one? Uh, the, man. the one where the guy ran into me? <laughs> I don't know. He was pretty adamant about you running into him. Oh, just so somebody talks really loud, you uh, gotta believe him? Just like the internet. Oh, okay. They talk loud, you're supposed to believe them. But no. no, drive it. I want to see you drive it, man. Yeah. I want you to get the experience because the last GT500, you know, it just didn't, it wasn't right. You know what I mean? This one is right. Is it? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Am I going to want to buy one after this? I want to buy one, boy. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Oh, that giant, man. oh man. Let me Don't see the keys, that man. Giant, man. Don't drive it. After you already uh, scratched up the rims. Oh, all right. yeah, you go do like the rental car place? Yeah. Do a walk around, see all the. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely exactly. didn't do this. <laughs> That's for uh, sure. Oh, here. Here you go, the key. There you go. There you go. There you go. I'm doing it. Do it. I'm doing it. Key? Chunky, it's a little chunky, okay? Yeah. Not, a, not a big fan of the chunk, okay? Oh, yeah, you, that's all right. Oh, wow. Watch that door, boy. You can't open it like that jailbreak door, boy. Yeah, sorry. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, vertical you doors. Like that, all right, this is heavy. Heavy. Oh, yeah. yeah. You ain't supposed to raise it sitting down. Yeah, yeah, well, you know I work out. position you go get in. Yeah, right. Let me pull this thing back down. Very, you gotta be very meticulous. All right. All right. This ain't that rough dodge right here. You know what I'm saying? Come on, pick it up, Woodrow. All right, this is nice. This is nice. This is cool. Now lock it in. How come it won't lock in? You gotta shut it. Th this Close th it like you open it. Shut it. Oh, okay. Well, it wasn't going, man. All right. Let's just. Everybody, is it? Are you ready? <laughs> Hold on. We gotta make sure the mirrors are right. Are you ready? Here it is. Here it is. Right here. Before, the pedal was out of pocket so it's got this little turn thing here that we turn we need to turn it let's pull down these windows a little bit just a little bit not much you know all right everything looks good I hope he knows how to drive the jailbreak okay I'm, I'm feeling it it definitely sounds amazing I like how this car sounds I definitely like how it looks it's just like whatever style that you've grown accustomed to be careful, you don't want to scrape the bottom. All right, let's see.
can't, I can't lie. Everybody else is driving kind of slow, obviously. blinding too the the gold stripes oh yeah yeah Blind. be able to just you know pull you know pull and hopefully beat him but like i felt the tires get a little slippy and i got a little scared here we go with hyphy after he didn't draw the gt500 what's your thoughts man pretty amazing bro i, I think it's a pretty dope car man <laughs> i think i'm gonna give it 10 out of 10 bro Ooh. Give it a 10 out of 10 yeah that thing i think for me uh it's the only down part of this car what? It's something that I don't like about this car. It's only like one thing. But I can't think of it right now. It's this, this, this <laughs> bubble right here. <laughs> that that's bubble. The, that's the oh, we're going to take that back next week to get fixed. 10 out of, that gets a 9.8 out of 10. Uh, no, but seriously, it feels like a video game. Like, I yeah. like the, the shifting exactly. is better. It's not as punchy, as hard as the uh, Hellcat. Uh -huh. And um, it definitely feels like, I think the exhaust sounds better than yeah. the Hellcat. But yeah. mine gurgles more. It goes, uh -huh. And you definitely feel like you're in a race car more. So the car is amazing. Yeah. It's, it's an amazing piece of machinery. Yeah, I just I just said everybody try which of the three muscle cars if you want to get exactly. a muscle car. Try which one you you know try them all and then see which one you like ZL1, more. one Dodge, the uh, Hellcats, uh, Shelby's, or ZL1. Uh -huh. Your choice. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, they all fun. Yeah, they all got their perks and negatives. Uh -huh. You know, 
you definitely feel like you're in a bigger body in the Hellcats too. Without like a doubt. Like lighter. Uh huh. Yeah, I feel more, more. I don't feel as in control with the charger. Like I'm scared of the charger. Yeah. Yeah. Even with those tires. Well, yeah, because when we smashed it right there, I slipped it. Did this slip too? Oh, yeah. This thing, I was like, oh, hold on. I, I backed off actually because uh -huh. I didn't want to like, yeah. you know, lose control completely. Yeah, I didn't lost it uh, twice in one day in this where I hit the rim over there. Oh, yeah. And uh, that same morning, I did some, some, yeah, you were doing a little bit too much. Yeah, yeah it's sick so, though. Yeah. Good work, man. Heck yeah. Click here to watch another awesome video from Cali Muscle. And if you support the channel, hit the subscribe button.